working, breeding guinea pigs at work. We weren't breeding them on purpose. They're just very sexual creatures, and we didn't want to slut shame them. Yeah, sorry you're not more sex positive, Terry. <sighs> I called my friend at the lab. He's going to take the guinea pigs. They're not going to do any chemical tests on them. They're just going to teach them how to run mazes. Really? I want you to look Claire 38 in the eye and tell her that. I'm sending you to the lab, Claire. Bye. You can't do this. It's so unfair, Terry. You're a cruel man. Thank God he found a way to end it. Oh, it's over. The nightmare's over. There you are. You didn't wake me up when you left this morning. I tried. You said, I'm dead, leave me, find someone new. Yeah, I'm pretty hungover. Look, last night wasn't great, but I think I know why. We were trying to do it like Hitchcock when we should have been trying to do it like Boris, the man who actually impregnated Hitchcock's wife. So I found him on Facebook. And... Jake, stop. Why is it so easy for everyone else to get pregnant? Like, look at these stupid guinea pigs. They made 600 babies, and we can't make one? Why can't we make 600 babies? You can't compare yourself to guinea pigs, babe. You taught me that. I'm exhausted. And the universe keeps telling us that it doesn't want us to have a baby. The message couldn't be clearer, so I'm done. Like, done for this month? Done. Just done. <laughs> Thank you for seeing me. I just wanted to let you know I was wrong. Until last night, I didn't realize how much Russian I'd learned. Yeah, it was impressive. And your accent was great, too. Thank you, but I actually speak with the accent of a peasant. Anyway, I walked my beat this morning, and I spoke to several people in Russian. They were so impressed, they opened up to me. I got a number of useful tips. All right, all because I made you do something tedious. Monotonous, don't ruin this. Thanks for coming out for Hitchcock's divorce party. You know you got another gay cake, right? What? No way. It says boys, boys, boys on it. Uh, because we're the boys. Well, guys, I figured out what went wrong between Anna and me. My job. I'm a workaholic. Not anymore. From now on, I'm focusing on what really matters. Come on, Scully. Let's get some wings. Ah, uh, but I thought you'd never ask. Hey, you want some cake? I got a piece with a heart on it, which I now realize is a butt. I'm good, thanks. So, listen, I've been thinking about what you said this morning, and it has been a really hard couple of months. I'm sorry I'm bad at making babies. Hey, hey, don't say that. It's not your fault. And look, for all we know, I could have... Don't say you have bum nards. I wasn't gonna... <laughs> but I think maybe it's just a thing we can't control. Ugh, that is my least favorite kind of thing. I know. I really wanted to start a family. Amy, we are a family, you and me. So, you know, we can keep trying or look into IVF or adoption or if we want, we can forget about the whole thing. But if we're together, I'm happy, no matter what. I don't know what I want to do. Fine, it's okay too. We don't have to have a plan. We make the rules. You know, maybe it would help to just not think about the whole thing for a while and see where we're at. Yeah, okay. I love you. I love you. Should we go? Yes. Okay. Nope. <sighs> From your lawn. Not a doctor. Shh.